Now, KLBK Sports Connection with Leah Doherty. We could not be more pleased than what we are with our introduction today. When we went through the change, however many days ago it's been now, one of the first, if not the first text message that I got was from Krista Gurley. This was the right time. This was her time and it's the time for her to come back and to lead her alma mater. A new era of Lady Raider basketball began yesterday with fans for the first time getting to hear from the new head coach, Krista Gerlich. The former Texas Tech player assistant coach and now head coach getting to meet her new players face to face for the first time yesterday. The team, including Krystlyn Carr and Lexi Gordon in attendance for her introductory press conference. Gerlich saying she had a chance to speak with them on the phone a couple nights ago and is asking for them to first and foremost give she and her staff a chance. Gerlich says she'll be bringing several members of her staff at UT Arlington with her to Lubbock and wants to focus on mending relationships with our local high school coaches. We have a lot of work to do. We have high expectations and we have standards not to meet but exceed. We have a lot of hearts to mend which brings my focus back to you guys. I can't do anything about what's happened the last two years but I can focus on you I can focus on the future and we can begin to change the narrative of your story. It is my goal and my desire to make your remaining time as a Lady Raider some of the best times of your life. We can do this and when we do, we will win. We will have no choice but to win. In other exciting Texas Tech news, a Red Raider will be competing in this year's U.S. Open. Senior Sandy Scott earning a spot in the field as one of the top seven players in the latest World Amateur Golf Rankings. Scott securing his number six ranking after advancing to match play at last week's U.S. Amateur. This year's U.S. Open is scheduled for September 17th through the 20th at Winged Foot Golf Club in New York. It's the 2020 Blitz Preview. Continue our Blitz 2020 previews with the District 2 3A Division 1 Littlefield Wildcats. The team losing some key seniors heading into this 2020 season, but still returning some experienced players. Seven offensive and six defensive starters coming back this year. Four year starter and quarterback Blake Green will have some help down the field in wide receivers Juan Rios and Ethan Garcia, who bring speed to the passing game. The Wildcats hoping this combination will be enough to be competitive in this tough district. Well, I'll tell you, we had a little more depth last year. Um, you know, a lot of these kids played on that team, so we, we lost a few seniors that, that contributed quite a bit. So, you know, we got some guys trying to come up and fill some holes. So I, I would say we don't have as much depth, but we, we are leaning on some experience. We do have some key starters back in, in, some, in, in key areas with lots of experience in the offensive line, defensive line. Um, and our skill players, and there's, you know, that not every one of them, but we got a, we got a few that have a quite a bit of experience. Blake Green, Chris Brown, they're, they're four-year starters. Blake's our quarterback. And hopefully we can, hopefully we can open up our offense a little more and get him a little bit more involved in the, not only the, uh, the uh, passing game but the running game and, and, and take control of the offense. That'll do it for your morning sports. Have a great Thursday.